These people found a way to achieve infinite wealth and have managed to turn their fortunes into some of the biggest wealth flexes in history. Their stories are crazy and trust me, you'll want to see why. Welcome to my list of infinite wealth generators and how the people on this list changed not only their own lives, but also the lives of their families and in some cases, their whole country's fortune. Let's begin. Now, infinite wealth really isn't something that I think a lot of us fully understand. Now, how long do you think you could live? 80, 90, 100 years, that's pretty long, isn't it? So the wealth that you have just needs to last your lifetime. So let's say it's about 80 years, which is the average in most first world countries. And in that situation, all you need is for you to have enough wealth to spend on whatever you want for your whole life. So when it comes to that matter, all you really need is a pool of resources that's big enough to never end during your lifetime. And that pool of resources could be a black, smelly, tar-like substance that's watery. And no, I'm not talking about Coca-Cola. I'm talking about oil. Yes, sir. Right now, I'm talking about the Saudis. These people have had a limitless supply of oil for generations now. This is truly infinite wealth if you think about it, because the money they're able to create has allowed them to basically own a country. Now, I know they came before the country, the House of Saud made Saudi Arabia, but they have enough wealth to sustain their population of elites with a working class of essential slaves, really, with a lower working class from other countries like India or Philippines or Vietnam or wherever. And this oil has allowed them to basically buy whatever it is they want. I mean, they're so rich that they're able to buy tanks and military equipment from the United States. So when you really look at it, this is true infinite wealth. They are worth trillions of dollars. They are probably richer than almost all the kings in history combined. And at this point, they're able to do whatever it is they want. I mean, they're able to fund wars. They're able to build cities. They're able to build these massive experiences of sports and film and TV and whatever they want. So these people truly have achieved infinite wealth through this resource. So the earth can give you a massive resource. Basically, you can earn an infinite wealth from from a resource as long as that resource outlasts you so about 80 years all right so listen a lot of countries that have a hustling bustling tourism industry end up doing very well for themselves by default just because people who are tourists are coming to your country spending money and not really taking much away essentially whether it's disneyland or some sort of natural wonder they're coming to come and see and look at this amazing thing that isn't in their own country now what if you were able to take that and mix it with legalized bank robberies. Yes, sir, I'm talking about casinos, especially Las Vegas. What ends up happening is casinos are true infinite wealth generation machines. I mean, on this list, we have a bunch of resources. We have a lot of marketing techniques and actual business techniques, but the best technique probably on this list, actually, there's one that's better, but this is probably the second best technique on the list, mainly because all you're doing is bringing people into a place where you say, hey, maybe you can win a bit of money but the majority option is we take every single penny you have. I mean, it's got to be completely moronic to go to Vegas or wherever and be like, yeah, I think I'm going to go gamble and lose all my money. But people do it. It's because it's commodified thrills. It's kind of like watching TikTok or something like that, where you're scrolling through and you know it's not giving you anything. All it does is it attacks your dopamine center and makes you constantly want to do it. And that's where the original status system and all these scroll systems on social media work started is through the slot machine mechanics of casinos because whenever that slot machine is turning our dopamine is going crazy inside so yeah the point is this is legalized bank robbery just because you know people are wired to chase this dopamine hit and as a casino you're able to constantly take profits from people who are stupid enough to show up there anyway and honestly a lot of casinos employ mafia techniques to avoid cheaters from hurting their own profits so basically it's not illegal to cheat at blackjack but a casino can kick you out Heck, they may even beat you up a bit so that you don't take your money. At the end of the day, I think a casino is a brilliant way to rob people blind and it is a perfect infinite wealth generation machine. I mean, these casinos in Vegas make billions a year and it seems to never be slowing down. Heck, it only seems to be speeding up. So yeah, it's a crazy system. I don't know why people would even want to get into it, but hey, people do. All right, so we are going to talk about a couple of different resources on this video, but there are resources that are like gold or diamonds or oil that we don't really need as a necessity. But there are resources that are extremely necessary for basic
basic human survival. And these resources are air, water, and food. And now you might think, well, why not commodify them? Well, guess what? These people are 50 steps ahead of you. This is Zhong Shen Shen, a man from China who has been able to take natural spring water and turn it into a massive amount of wealth for himself. You see, Zhong had a very interesting story. He started off as a very poor person, working difficult manual labor jobs, until he attended the University of Radio and Television in China, where he was obsessed with talking to entrepreneurs and interviewing them about what their lives were all about. He really loved the entrepreneurial lifestyle. And he was so inspired from these stories of what to do, what not to do, that he would go on to have his own entrepreneurial journey. He would actually fail a couple of times. He would start a mushroom farm and a shrimp farm, but both of those would fail. But then he would come to a realization that there's an essential need that needs to be fulfilled for everyone. And that is water. And in the mid 90s, there was a growing movement of health awareness. And so Zong realized, why not bottle up natural spring water and sell it as a superior version of distilled water? And that's exactly what he did. He founded a company called Nong Fu Spring Water. And his brand was basically marketed as superior water for people who want to stay healthy. It's better than distilled and it comes from natural springs. Essentially, this man did a genius job here of taking a resource that is naturally available and almost limitless and just bottling it up and selling it to people. His net worth now is $75 billion, which is obviously a finite amount, but he is able to sell this resource endlessly for as long as he wants. And he is actually turning into an old man now, so he's been doing this for a while and has gained a lot of respect and wealth from it. And at one point, he was the richest man in China. So there are resources that people need that can be extremely valuable and can create infinite wealth for people who are able to provide them. Now, whether or not it's ethical to provide water, air, or food as a paid resource might be a different conversation. But of course, there are companies that are going to take profit from whatever they can. If you're enjoying this video so far, please subscribe. All right, what if I told you that you could win at the stock market every single time without fail, without worry, and without any danger of risk or losing your money? Well, there is a hidden messiah of the stock market that will allow you to generate as much money as possible. And no, I'm not talking about Nancy Pelosi. I'm talking about Jim Cramer, an ex-hedge fund manager who was able to generate a lot of money during his time in Wall Street. However, in an exposed video, he exposed just how corrupt and terrible the Wall Street system is and how they use almost evil tactics to successfully generate profit for their companies. Basically, Jim Cramer these days has his own show where he predicts stock prices and tells you which stocks are going to go up and down. However, he's always wrong. I mean, it is insane how wrong he is. I might just make a full video about all the times he was wrong, but people are now theorizing that he's not actually wrong. He's just inversing his prediction so that we can put money in to the opposite side. If he was always right, he might get caught or something else like that, but he is telling us the inverse of what's going to happen. So if he says Bitcoin is looking good, get ready to short Bitcoin, it's going to go down. Or if he says defense company stocks are going to go up, they're going to go down. He's always incorrect, but he's correct in being incorrect. So basically inverse Jim Cramer, make a lot of money, basically bet against him. There are massive pages online that are just called inverse Jim Cramer. And they always show how he always gets these things wrong. I have to kind of agree with the conspiracy theory that he is trying to purposely do this just so people can make money. I don't know. It's a crazy situation. I might make a full video on it, but check it out. It's kind of amazing. And it is kind of infinite wealth generation. If you can always bet against him and be right, you will make a lot of money. So try it out. I don't know. All right. So we've talked about a lot of commodities on this list and how useful resources that are needed for human survival can be a massive infinite wealth generator when properly used by the right people. And here we're back again at China after that water situation, looking at another situation that is badly needed in China. And that is clean air. Yes, sir. Who would have thought the world's factory would be one of the most heavily polluted nations on the planet? Beijing is one of the most polluted cities in existence. I read a stat a few years ago where breathing one full day of air in Beijing is like smoking 30 cigarettes a day. It is not good for you at all. And this isn't just China. This is in countries like India and a lot of South Asian countries where they have large population centers with millions of people living in them and causing massive pollution with cars, with homes with a lot of bad air pollution so much so that it can be a fatal health risk and this is where a man named Moses Lamb comes in. You see, he founded a company called Vitality Air. This is a company that sells bottled up air 
to people in China and all across the world. Where does this air come from? Well, it comes from one of the most healthy countries in the world, Canada. Yes sir, Canada has lush, beautiful forests, amazing wildlife, and this air comes from Banff, a national park, and also Lake Louise in Canada. These bottles go for anywhere from 99 cents to about 3.99. And this air was a massive craze in China. It would sell, they would generate millions of dollars worth of sales, and all they really need to do is collect air from these national parks and send it over to China and sell it for a hefty profit. As you can see here in this interview with 2 Chain, the creator describes collecting air it takes a 40 hour process and then it must be hand sealed into these cans and then shipped off to China. It's quite an amazing business idea and honestly it is truly infinite wealth because air is everywhere. However, where air is bad, this is a heavy commodity. It's like living in the desert. You don't really care about gold, all you care about is water. Well, in a polluted city where you can barely breathe, air is one of the best commodities you could ever have. Now imagine you're a charismatic guy, maybe you're good at singing, maybe you're good at telling stories, and maybe you have the ability to make a few interesting interesting videos online or make some movies, songs, whatever it is. People probably think, oh, this guy's just a funny little actor, singer, influencer, whatever. Well, maybe you're more than that. Maybe you're someone who can play a CEO, but also be a CEO. Today, I'm going to tell you about the infinite wealth generation of Ryan Reynolds. Yes, if you haven't already heard this, Ryan Reynolds bought a marketing company called Maximum Effort. And with this company, what he does is he buys brands that don't really have much notoriety, like Aviation Gin, and like Mint Mobile, these sorts of companies that he buys and he gives them the marketing resources they need to become massive. So what ended up happening is Ryan Reynolds took his acting money and his notoriety from movies like Deadpool and other such things and he used that and his persona to turn these minuscule brands into massive hits. He bought a stake into Mint Mobile and sold it for $1.3 billion to Verizon. And he also bought Aviator Gin, made an amazing advertising out of that Peloton scandal a few years ago and has recently sold it for 600 million dollars. I mean the man has created a wealth generation engine that is up there with companies like Apple, Tesla, companies that are geniuses at marketing. Now you look at large influencers like Logan Paul, KSI and Mr. Beast. Logan Paul, KSI made Prime and they don't need to spend a penny on marketing because their likeness is so big, because they're so famous and they can promote it themselves. Same with Mr. Beast, his chocolate bar company Feastables is massive because it is getting a shout out in videos that get hundreds of millions of views. And at the same time, you look at a company like Tesla, while their products are amazing and revolutionary, it is Elon Musk who is the complete marketing engine for that company. There's a reason the man has to be famous. He has this persona of being this Tony Stark-like figure and selling these futuristic cars. So basically, celebrity marketing has taken over the world in a massive way and is a near infinite wealth generator for people who can continuously use their likeness to promote products. This is what companies like Disney do with Mickey Mouse, Star Wars, whatever they own. Like Pokemon, it's a brand worth billions of dollars because people are constantly buying Pokemon products. So essentially, if your brand is able to use a famous entity or is just famous in itself, it will sell an amazing amount of products. Truly almost an infinite wealth generator. So you live in a society and you have neighbors and they have neighbors and neighbors have neighbors into rolling into neighborhoods. What this means is you're living on land and you're not living on land that's totally free. Not even you Americans. What you're living on is land owned by a government or really a collective. You see, you may live in a democracy, you may live in an authoritarian nation, you may live in a dictatorship, whatever you want to call it. You may live in communism, you may live an anarchy but at the end of the day everybody needs to pay taxes but essentially if you're living in a nation of any standards you will have to pay taxes this could include land tax this could include income tax this could include purchase taxes this could include a debt tax this could include every single type of tax available and known to mankind now there are people who avoid taxes like jeff bezos like massive billionaires who don't really have an income they mostly have debt but what those most people still do is pay taxes on what they buy, they still pay taxes on their land, they still pay taxes on a lot of other things. So essentially, taxes are an infinite, 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 infinite wealth generator for the government. Now, but what does that mean for dictatorships? Well, dictatorships essentially make you pay taxes by making you poorer than anything. Look at North Korea. The Emperor Kim lives in this palace, and not just one, he lives in multiple palaces, he has a train, he has everything he could ever ask for. He even has his own Chicago Bull. So at the end of the day, if you're a dictatorship, 
you can charge taxes for as long as you hold the country in your name. So you will always be able to profit no matter what. Taxes are a very, and taxes in the United States are a very unfair system if you look at it, because they mostly are charged to the sub 1% of people. That means wealth, because they're mostly charged to people who are below the top 1% of wealth. Most people can't evade taxes. And you know why? They'll put you in a cage if you don't pay your taxes. So taxes will top this list for a true infinite wealth generator for any nation that has any population at all. I'm sure even the Vatican has to pay taxes to, I guess, the Pope. But yeah, if you want to make an infinite wealth generation machine, just buy a piece of land, call it a country, and charge taxes to the people inside. This probably won't work, so you're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way by becoming a dictatorship or becoming a president of a democratic country. But you can charge taxes and spend all that money on whatever you want. The United States does it. Why can't you? If you enjoyed this video, please check out these ones. And also subscribe. Thank you.